Now, we're going to take a look at this app right here. Can't really sh pop in and focus right now. But it's Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. For the iPhone. How legit is that? Let's launch it. You did this little video. Let's see how are you greeted with quality. Let's see that. You can play actually online if you want. It's nice. I'm just gonna play single player. Try it out. We're gonna skip the tutorial because eh, it's not necessary. And new maps will be coming out later for this app. So let's resume. You can see very good graphics. Controls are simple. Um, let's buy this weapon here. Basically, the controls are down here, you have your joystick. Over here, you move it. Do that to zoom, fire. To reload, tap up there, it reloads. If you want to change weapons, double tap, changes weapons. really good graphics otherwise. Move this finger right here at aim. If you want to melee someone, right there. And then you can do normal repair barricades right down there. There are also other controls available. Let's see them right here. This is a classic. Now, see we resume. Instead of having using this to move, this will do. It. That's just a quick glance around. Now what you have two joysticks. This one moves, this one rotates you, tap it to shoot. No more aim, aim's up here, no more fire trigger. It is this. Now finally we have the tilt where it takes advantage of the accelerometer. This is nice, not the biggest fan of this, Sorry about that. But let's see. So now, see, you move around like this, go around like that. It's a little faster, but it's sort of hard to aim. But otherwise, Call of Duty, Nazi Zombies for the iPhone, create a scheme for the iPhone.